Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome back to ReneeEnergy.com. Today, we're focusing on a breakthrough that is set to revolutionize the production of green hydrogen, membrane technology. Traditionally, producing hydrogen from seawater required desalination, an energy-intensive and costly process. But, thanks to advancements in membrane technology, we can now bypass desalination altogether and extract hydrogen directly from seawater. In this video, we'll explore how membrane technology works, what makes it so effective, and why this development is a game-changer for the future of clean energy. Let's dive into the science behind this innovative process and its potential to reshape the global energy landscape. To understand why desalination was traditionally needed for seawater electrolysis, we need to look at the composition of seawater. Seawater contains high concentrations of salts and other impurities, mainly sodium chloride, NaCl. When an electric current is applied to seawater during electrolysis, it splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. However, the chloride ions from sodium chloride also undergo oxidation at the anode, resulting in the formation of chlorine gas. Chlorine gas is not only corrosive and harmful to electrolysis equipment, but it also reduces the efficiency of the hydrogen production process. To avoid this, desalination was used to remove the salts from seawater before electrolysis could occur. However, desalination is a highly energy-intensive process. It requires significant energy to filter out salts and impurities, which increases the overall cost of hydrogen production. This is particularly challenging for regions with abundant seawater but limited freshwater resources, such as coastal and island nations. For these areas, desalination adds complexity and expense to the process, preventing large-scale hydrogen production from becoming a feasible clean energy solution. This is where membrane technology comes in. Recent advancements in membrane technology have made it possible to bypass the desalination process and produce hydrogen directly from seawater. Membranes are advanced materials that can selectively allow certain ions to pass through while blocking others. In the case of seawater electrolysis, proton exchange membranes, PEMs, and anion exchange membranes, EMs, are used to allow water molecules to pass through for electrolysis while blocking the chloride ions that would normally lead to the formation of chlorine gas. The key to these membranes is their ability to selectively filter ions. Proton exchange membranes, PEMs, allow hydrogen ions, protons, to pass through while blocking larger ions, such as chloride. This means that only the desired reaction, the splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen, can occur, while the formation of harmful byproducts like chlorine gas is prevented. PEMs are widely used in electrolysis systems due to their efficiency and resistance to the corrosive properties of seawater. Anion exchange membranes, EMS, on the other hand, allow hydroxide ions, O- to pass through while preventing chloride ions from reaching the anode. This helps prevent the oxidation of chloride ions, which would otherwise result in chlorine gas production. EMS are a relatively newer technology compared to PEMS, but they have shown great promise in seawater electrolysis due to their lower cost and high efficiency. Both PEMS and EMS are made from advanced materials that can withstand the harsh conditions of seawater including its high salt content and corrosive properties. These materials are designed to be durable and long-lasting, making them ideal for large-scale hydrogen production. Membrane technology is not only about the membranes themselves. Selective catalysts also play a crucial role in the electrolysis process. These catalysts help focus the electrical energy on splitting water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen while minimizing side reactions, such as the formation of chlorine gas. Catalysts made from noble metals, such as platinum and iridium, are particularly effective at promoting hydrogen production while preventing unwanted byproducts. By combining membrane technology with selective catalysts, it is possible to focus the electrolysis process solely on the splitting of water molecules, ensuring that hydrogen is produced efficiently without the need for desalination. This breakthrough not only reduces the cost of hydrogen production but also makes the process more energy efficient and scalable. Several pilot projects are already underway to test and refine membrane-based seawater electrolysis systems. For example, 
researchers in Japan are working on scaling up membrane electrolysis to produce hydrogen directly from seawater. Their goal is to create a local, renewable hydrogen economy that uses seawater as a primary resource. Similarly, in Australia, where renewable energy sources such as solar and wind are abundant, membrane technology is being used to produce green hydrogen from seawater. These projects demonstrate the scalability and potential of membrane-based seawater electrolysis systems. One of the largest and most ambitious hydrogen projects is Saudi Arabia's NEOM initiative, which aims to produce hydrogen from seawater using membrane technology and renewable energy. NEOM is set to become one of the world's largest producers of green hydrogen and green ammonia, exporting these clean energy sources to global markets. These projects illustrate the real-world potential of membrane technology in enabling large-scale, cost-effective hydrogen production from seawater. The benefits of membrane technology are substantial. First and foremost, it reduces the overall cost of producing hydrogen by eliminating the need for desalination. This makes hydrogen production more viable for coastal and island nations, which have abundant seawater but limited freshwater resources. In these regions, membrane-based seawater electrolysis can provide a sustainable and cost-effective solution for hydrogen production, reducing dependence on imported fossil fuels and increasing energy independence. Membrane technology also increases energy efficiency. By allowing the electrolysis process to focus solely on splitting water molecules without the energy-intensive step of desalination, membrane-based systems can produce hydrogen more efficiently. This improved efficiency reduces the overall energy consumption of the process, making it more sustainable and reducing the carbon footprint of hydrogen production. Furthermore, membrane-based seawater electrolysis is highly scalable. With further development and refinement, this technology can be expanded to meet global demand for hydrogen. Coastal and island nations can leverage their abundant seawater resources to produce hydrogen on a large scale, positioning themselves as leaders in the global hydrogen economy. In conclusion, membrane technology is the key to unlocking the potential of seawater electrolysis without desalination. By selectively filtering out salts and impurities while facilitating the electrolysis process, membranes allow us to produce hydrogen directly from seawater in a cost-effective and energy-efficient manner. As the world continues to transition away from fossil fuels, membrane technology will play a crucial role in making hydrogen a viable, sustainable energy source for the future. Thank you for joining us today as we explore the incredible potential of membrane technology in seawater electrolysis. If you're as excited about the future of green hydrogen and green ammonia as we are, don't forget to subscribe to ReneeEnergy.com for more insights into the latest clean energy innovations. Together, we can build a cleaner, more sustainable world powered by renewable energy. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.